does happen in this piece of scripture when we read it in Christianity we would brush this over because it is telling us what Christianity has taught us differently that angels were sexless beings but here we see these angels coming down onto this earth and seeding a population of us obviously it is not the population that Sunini made they were doing something different all right and um so we have these giants because these angels were probably large stature and they, whatever they mated with could have produced beings that have beings very very large size and so we have conversations and then they call it now mythology um the titans and um poseidon and all of these what they now want to call mythical creatures which was a larger version of uh, the beings that were seeded by the fallen angel here so you're saying that these um it was clear that the when he says the sons of god that they were talking about the sons of the heavens of angels because then we are uh, we would have been it you know we are also sons of god so there, there's a, there was a distinction there so you're saying that um uh, these beings like poseidon and all of these mythical creatures that they that they were um fallen angels and they were from this grouping yeah they were a product those were the giants if you look at the bottom here which is the the strongs number h430 which is this number here mm -hmm. sons of god when it talks about sons of god here it's talking about the angels these are the angelic beings they that came down and in the other books you get to read that 200 fallen angels the book of enoch 200 fallen angels came down in the days of Jared, this is a monk, fake monk Hormon, which is by Caesarea Philippi, which is in the northern hemisphere, the Golan Heights area by so-called Syria. All of those words are fake words. That's why I'm referring to them like that, because they were words that were changed to create that scene over that side. So these fallen angels came down and they mated with a being that was here before them. Among the creatures that were created, these beings seem to have mated with a creature here and how we get to know this is that now that the science has gone forth and has done their investigation and so on they come back with the result saying to us that they are able to trace there is a stamp a genetic stamp in the dna of a group of humans here that was not noticed before but the scriptures spoke about this thing that these beings came down they call them um, aliens some people call them fallen angels some people call them sons of the heavens all kinds of names they get but this rebellious angels that we know about in the bible as um, under christianity isaiah chapter 14 when satan was cast down 